Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi Rando. A link to the past randomizers tonight. To do our new favorite mix a uh, normal open uh, defeat Ganon seed, followed by a Triforce hunt seed. Let's get right up on in there. Because fun times are to be had with the randos, of course. Always, always, always. Uh, we have to be like a buck 37 or whatever, but our average is now sitting at almost a two hour flat. I like that, but let's see if we can push that a little bit lower. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, Ether, straight at the house. My goodness. That's an interesting opening item. Hey, Lord Trax, how you doing? Good to see you. In the middle of watching my shiitake world record. My, my shit world record, I mean. <laughs> I was really surprised to get that. What was that, last weekend? Must have been. Like, I never expect to get uh, PBs to begin with. Oh, wow, strong eight bomb drops from the pole. I never expect to get PBs, and even less expect to get PBs by more than a minute. So I don't know what happened that time. But hey, that's all right. Big old 20 from Uncle. Hey, Echo Chart, how you doing? Good to see you. Kind of recognize the name, so I figured you were a previous viewer. Here we go, just ten arrows there. All right, not a whole bunch. I don't know why I'm. So I don't need to kill the guard. It's not going to help me. We already got our bombs off the wicked ass eight bomb drop tree pole. Let's go rob the church while we're here. What's the church got for us? Oh, just the small key. Dang it. Well, that's not very useful. Whatever, it's fine. 20 bucks, 10 bombs, 10 arrows, and nothing else really. I guess we did get ether at the house, that's fine. But we can't use it, because we got no sword. Can't use it with no sword, I guess that's what they did with the rando. And even if I did have a sword, I don't have enough magic to use it. And even if I did have enough magic to use it, it's kind of worthless to begin with. So I need some attack power here. Ether only freezes shit. But hearts on the crab drop. I don't really care what the- well, unless the crab was dropping like big 20s or something. That would have been really super helpful. Uh, looks like the Kane of Brian on Lumberjack Ledge, yep. Yeah. So probably won't be going back for that. Not wasting my seven minutes of time to do Ega 1 unless it's required, which we don't know yet. We don't know yet. I <laughs> just loot your dead uncle for 20 rupees. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's just kind of resting. Just having a little lay down. You know, we're going to see him in about two hours anyway, so, I mean, he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's, just take, he's having a little nap. Ooh, some green goo at Mushroom Spot. All right. That's not bad. That gets us a sick kid right away for our first trip through the village. But a piece of candy at Thieves' Den. Not terribly useful. Not terribly useful on its own. Need three more to actually make it work for us. That's alright. That's alright. Can't all be winners. Can't all be sword upgrades and hook shots and hammers and all that, so... Take what you can get when you get it. But here we are in the village. Kakariko Village, awash with items. 14 in total, all of which we'll be able to get since we got the bombs and we got the bottle. Although, well, we might not be able to get the bottle vendor right away since our cash supply is kind of low. But that could change. See, sorry, we already doubled it. There's the bombs there, another big old 20, jeez. And a bomb cap, all right, well. We'll definitely have enough for Bottle Vendor after a well. Considering we'll be getting 30 here. And at least another 10 in the well because of the two pots. So yes, we will be full clearing Kakariko first go around through. If we could get Flute before we leave the village, that would be real nice. Give us some nice fast travel. Let's see what RNG has in store for us. Oh, Ice Rod. All right, we won't be looking around for that. That's good. That's good. 
Another piece of candy. All right, we're at three of four. Another big old 20. Ah, baby's first shield. All right. And a full ass heart container. All right. Okay. Eh. We've we've had uh, more lucrative wells. We'll, we'll say that much. And a hundred hundred bucks for twenty bucks. Gee, thanks. What a terrible investment decision. <laughs> All right, let's check the back of KFC here. Chicken clip. Now, oh, now we were really late on the throw. Another piece of candy. Well, there's our there's a full heart for us. All right, so a pretty average seed so far. Not really much value. Not much value going on here. Fiverr from the sick kid. What a fucking waste, man. Come on. Help us out. Get out of bed and help us out here. What about the back of the bar? Are they pulling down mad stacks? Nope. Just an arrow cap. Great. All right, well, the village was kind of a bust. I don't mind saying that because we got nothing. <clears throat> Nothing of really good offensive value there. I guess the ice rod is good to get early, so we don't have to worry too much about nothing. What about on the library? Nothing but a big old 20 on the library. Race game has the hammer. Oh, there's some value. There is some value. So the village itself not great, but just south of the village. There we go. It's gonna take us a, a hot second to get it. Or, well, a hot nine seconds, probably. Yeah, nine seconds. Nice. We can have this trash. That's not trash. That's a hammer. That's a wonderful, wonderful hammer. So now we've got ourselves some offensive weaponry. We could go front side escape, but let's hit south shore first. Maybe we'll pick up a sword or something. Two items here at the dam, one just inside the door, one under the water. Piece of candy, all right, I think that's two. Halfway to another heart. You know what? We're gonna grab that. It takes like three seconds. That gets us three quarters of the way there to another heart. And since we're only sitting at five hearts, probably for the best to get a little bit beefier. Ass bottle, and a big old twenty. All right, here we go. The value is starting to build up here. That flute, real important. Well, maybe not strictly required, depending on the seed, of course. But good for fast travel. Let's actually check what we're dealing with here. Crystal, crystal, crystal. All normal ass crystals in the light world, which means we'll have three. Count them. Three Dark World Dungeons as pendants. Could be good, could be bad, depending on what they are. Ouch. Uh, 
Yeah, crabs, please. Very dangerous. They do two hearts of damage. They've only got the green mail. It's terrible. It's almost half my health. Alright, the old ice box. What do we got? Oh, a lamp! That's fucking great to get that right there. Because now, we are set to go to go do uh, the entirety of Escape. Which nets us seven items. So we've got attack power through the hammer. Get through all the little guard sequences and whatever. And we've got the lamp to get through the dark sections. Probably about the best we could have hoped for there. And considering we already have the small key to get through the, the back half. We will do this all in one go. I'm going to try to set it for the Death Warp and not totally flub it this time. AKA taking a death before I hit the, uh, the jail cell chest. Done that more than once. Bomb camp. All right, well, not a good start. Not the value I was hoping for. All right, come, come on, really? <laughs> Smacking the ground all around him. Piece of candy. Oh, okay. So now we're at three. So if we get a piece of candy in the uh, in the dungeon chest or in the jail cell chest, that could put a cramp in our style to do the death warp here. This dude's doing his thing. I really, I really need him not to. Oh, please. Oh, well, okay, that's that's fine actually. There we go. So we're gonna go get this chest first, just in case it is a piece of candy. All right, it's the burrito. All right, so this will put us back at the the front door. It's exactly what we're aiming for, so we don't have to walk it out. Red Meringue, huh? Not exactly valuable. None of the boomerangs are really that valuable in this, uh, this particular game, but you know, it's something. here. So we've already got the burrito, we've already got the small key. So we got a big old 20, piece of candy, another big old 20. So lots of red, but not much value. But, we do have the flute. So we're gonna go give that a quick toot. Or, we're gonna loose the goose first so we can give the flute a toot and fast travel. Running out of spots. 
that will be valuable. Oh, looks like we can, can we do Batman already? Yeah, we've got the, the hammer and the powder. Excellent. So yeah, it looks like we've got we've got Old Man, we can go up the mountain to get two items and scope out a third. We can get Batman, we can get Agonist Cave, check out Desert Ledge, and then head on over to Sashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashash
All right, well, we're gonna find out how much money this takes. I, mean, I think it's 50. I think it's 50. It is, good. Or no, it's only 40, Never mind. Or 30? Oh, whatever. Piece of candy, not worth nothing. Wasn't even good for uh, another full-ass heart container. Check bumper cave real quick. Make sure we don't need to come back up here. Oh, it's a three hundo. I mean, that would be quite useful right now. But oh well. By the time we get the cape and are back on our way to the north side of Dark World here, we probably won't care for that three hundo. We'll just mark it off. Oh, big old 20 in Sea House. How very lucrative. I'm even contemplating not even going into Thieves right now because we really don't have a lot. <laughs> we really don't have a lot to our names here. Not much health, not much offensive power. I guess we could take a quick dip into it. Is it a pendant? Oh, it's a crystal, too. Ah, shit. I guess we should, huh? I guess we really should. Swamp and Ice and T-Rock are pendants. Why are the other five, six here? Okay. Hmm, not the best layout of pendants I've ever seen. But also not the worst. It always worries me when either or both of Swamp and Tira are pendants. Because they have so many items. Because now there's a good chance that I'll have to go into either or both of them. Regardless. I guess they could have an important item for somewhere else. Well, there's a 50 there. I guess it's good to get a little bit of cash. So we will need cash for Zora eventually, perhaps. Actually, I'd probably be better off stunning shit and walking by. Instead of trying to out and out fight it. Oh, another 50 roots, okay. And the burrito. We got the, uh, the big key in the first chest, so we're gonna move on here. Be a little bit careful with my movement, just because three hearts does not a safe Mr. Bond make. Four hearts is slightly better, but only just. Plus, this means we'll probably have to fight blind with a hammer, which is uh, not my most favorite thing in the world to do. I mean, we might get one or two swings of the ice rod, but I'm not even sure if that hits him. Ouch. Hey. Stop it. Oh, I do have the powder, though. That's safety. So I mean we'll give it a we'll give it the good old solid college try here. 
in fighting blind with equipment that we've got, but no guarantees. Big old 20. So we've got nothing but money so far. Which I suppose is okay. Far from ideal. But we've got one more chance. One more chance of hitting the big time. A sword would really be nice. So we're now 25 minutes in. Without a little stabby device to call our own. Two damage just by running into him, huh? Don't pass. This would be a pretty, pretty slim thieves town here. Oh, oh, good, great. So, <laughs> so here's our dilemma, right? We don't have the key for that door. So two things could happen here. The worst thing that could happen at this point is that Blind has the small key and we have to go back for it. The best thing that could happen at this point would be that uh, the small key is in the big chest. That would be really good. Ugh, this is such an awkward fight with just the hammer. I don't have any safety strats either. Like I've got no. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Jeez. Oh man, it's so so dangerous. It's so fucking dangerous. So if we get bopped by one of these, that's two hearts. If we get hit by a fireball, it's one heart. Oh, I think the laser is also two hearts. So we are gonna be dancing. Oh, we are probably dead here. Oh, yep. Okay, fuck it. I'm not gonna retry that. Figured I'd give it the, the good one try here. And then we'll come back. We'll come back if we need to come back. Well, we're gonna need to come back since it's a crystal and all. But, we gave it the one try. That's about the best we could hope for. The equipment and health that we have. Dang, I felt pretty good about that too. Like, we had a good go of it. Then I got bopped and then it was all over. But, that's how she goes sometimes. Cut your losses, move on, and come back when you're better equipped. So here's where I'd like to get some money. Hey, look at that! That's not bad. We might actually dig around a bit. Maybe we can pull off a couple more 20s. If we could leave here with Zora money, that would be really nice. I think we're gonna get Zora money, are we? Nope. Well, close to Zora money. A lot closer than we were going in. So probably our big plays at this point now are going to be Hype Cave. We'll check old Stumpy here as well, and maybe we'll go check Pyramid. On top of everything else. So that gives us six items. Stumpy only had a 20. So not, not super great, but, you know, it's still kind of valuable at this point. <clears throat> I suppose we could even check... Um, we could even check Catfish, I guess, since we're kind of on our way there anyways. Ouch. Dang it. Fucking bomb-ass bitches. <laughs> we lose so much health. Uh, 
All right, Pipe Cave. Pipe Cave, starting off strong with the Titans Myths. All right. Arrow Cap, Blue Mail's pretty good. Big old heart container and 50 roofs. All right, we've got ourselves some Zora money. We've got protection. We've got tier two lifts. And enough cash for Zora. So, all right, that was a very good Hype Cave. What a play. Still no stabby weapons, though. That's making me a bit nervous. We're 30 minutes in. And no stabby stabs. Put a big old 20 on the pyramid. We have enough money. We don't need to go for that. It's rather unfortunate that we don't have the mirror, so we couldn't just do the Zora check back to back with everything else, but that's I. Right. That's I. Right. At this point, the only thing that <clears throat> having the Titan's Mitts really opens up for us is. The Blacksmith and uh, Peg Cave. So we have the hammer and all. So that's two. Oh, I suppose now we can uh, check Meyer Shed as well. So we've got Titan Smiths and Flute. So that might be a good play as well. That's only two, but it also lets us check what we need to get into Meyer. Considering it is a crystal, it'd be good info to have. All right, Catfish, what you got? What, what, what do we got today? 10 arrow cap, all right, that's dumb. Thanks for nothing. Uh, so, this, this doesn't really bode well for us. We're kind of getting down to the, the silly areas, the silly one-offs that aren't exactly lucrative. We do have the Eastern play open to us yet, which, you know, not, Probably not the most terrible idea in the world. That's at least three. Or the chance at three. Guaranteed two. What we got there? Bombos. Busy Bambos. Or Meyer. It's candy there. And oh, there's a mirror. Well, that gets us the boots. That gets us the busy boots as well as many other areas. That is a good fucking pickup. I tell you what. And rather conveniently placed as well. Super glad we did that sooner rather than later. Big ass heart container. We'll take that. Proves our chances of survival. Okay, so mirror gets us into, or gets us to desert ledge, which gets us to boots. It gets us to be able to complete desert, which is two items. So oopsie, what am I doing? So not, you know, a great deal of items, but it gets us there. It also gets us up to Hera, which is another crystal dungeon. So we can get two crystals in pretty quick order here. That makes me happy. Mirror also improves our Dark World routing significantly. Makes things a bunch easier to get to. It's a shame we didn't have it for our first foray. Oh, small key on the torch. All right, just in case. Might be necessary. I don't relish fighting a land mole with the hammer, but it's much better than fighting blind with the hammer, so whatever. We'll go with it. 
gas key there. Hit it on the way back. Burrito. Oh. Ah, and the compass. All right, well, <laughs> it'll be big chest and um, and landmo with the two items for us. All right, that puts uh, Zora on the map within logic now. Oh, we are lighting up a whole bunch of that overworld now. That's good, that's good. I didn't spend a whole lot of time like doing all the, the crazy one-offs. So that's fine, I should just use the mirror, oh well. So we can get a whole lot of this shit kind of on our way. Death Mountain's looking real nice. Lots of items. Lots of items, plus Hera as a crystal dungeon. Yeah, Death Mountain will definitely be the play after we're done here. Forget, is Landmo? Can we get Landmo with the ice rod? I think we'll give it a go. We'll see if that does any any work for us. I mean otherwise we've got hammer, which is you know tempered sword damage, so it's not the most terrible thing to have. <clears throat> so we'll try. We'll try ice rod. We we'll get maybe three or four swings of it. Oh, wow. Two and done. So it does, uh... Wow, that's awesome. It does, uh, fire rod damage. That's great. That's fucking great. Well, that saves us a bit of time here. I think. Well, if we can ever hit the fucker. There we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Ice rod definitely did the work. The silvers! Nice! Nice! Well, that was a very valuable desert, holy shit. Flippers, silvers, and a crystal. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Let's head up the head up the mountain here. Don't have the hook shot, so we can't take the kind of short way around to eastern, to east side of of, de or of uh, mountain here. But we do have the hammer, which means once we take our pass uh, around here, or there, we'll be able to get to the east side. Excuse me, squirrels. Thank you. Oh, good. Just a fiver from the old man. Thanks, man. Thanks. It'd be worth my time walking you back home. Spec Rock is nothing but a big old 20. Inside, we've got another big old 20. Wow, it's people throwing their change all around the mountain.
but an arrow cap in the basement, we do not care about that. So we'll just leave it be. Oh, big key. Alright, so we're not headed down to the basement just yet. That's good. Because that is a waste of time if we don't need to do it. Oh, oh no, all right. I was about to say, I don't like fighting uh, Wormulon with hammer either, but we've done a, a lot more Wormulon hammer fights than hammer fights with any other boss, so I'm pretty sure we can manage. Should we try the bomb jump? We can try the bomb jump. This will be a, a bit of a trick because I can't use the, the spin strategy to get lined up. I think that's probably close enough. Nice! Oh, the compass. Dang it. Well, that's alright. Means we don't have to check it later on. Like, that's a 1 in... Probably like 1 in 10 attempts I've ever gotten that bomb jump. So, whatever. Happy to get it. Fucking Wormulon. Get the ledge. Shitbag. Nice. Easy peasy. Fuck you, Wormulon. And please give us the second item. Ah, it's the burrito! Well, at least we get Crystal too. We'll head back in, go down to the basement, and check out what that second item's all about. We don't want to leave it behind, just in case it's something good, say a sword. This will finish off West Side Death Mountain, with the exception of Ether Tablet and Spike Cave if you're counting uh, Dark World. Oh, good. I thought I'd soft lock myself there. Whew. Very dangerous. Ah, it's nothing but a fiver. What a what a pile Hera turned out to be. Piece of shit. Alright, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Quick in and out. Bombs up there. Fucking squirrels, get out of the fucking way. Aye. Right, stop it. Alright, so we'll kind of do this inside out. We'll do Spiral Cave first. God, the hitbox on that when you're trying to hit to the north is really fucking silly. Oh, 300 rupees. Alright, well, it's... I mean, it's better than a big 20. It's better than a big 20, but it's worse than something more valuable. <laughs> Oi. Be in a 
bottle and a piece of candy. I mean, these bottles are kind of worthless without a, a bug net to put a fairy in, but at least we can get some backup potions or whatever if we need to later on. This fucking hammer hitbox. Piece of candy, a big 20, another big 20, and a bomb cap. Wow, fucking worthless. Thanks for nothing, Death Mountain. We'll do the bomb jump just as a matter, of course. Oh, what? How did I miss that? I guess it doesn't really matter. Come down here anyways and pull the portal. So, we can get three items here, and we'll have to leave three to its own devices since we don't have the hook shot. But we can at least get the very first one in Hookshot Cave, which, as a couple times for me, turned out to be the hookshot, so who really knows what strange and wonderful things we'll find. Plus, we can check what we need for T-Rock while we're up here. A mushroom. Oh boy, fetch quest! The best! Alright, one more chance for value here. Wake. Vanilla opener for T-Rock. Hopefully it's not going to matter, because we wouldn't want to go in there because of the whole, uh, on account of being a pendant and all that. Ah, big old 20 in the first chest. Bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. Alright, whatever. Worth a go. Surprisingly, a bad Death Mountain. Here, please. Fairy. A surprisingly bad Death Mountain. Like, obnoxiously bad. Uh, alright. Let's do the whole swimmy swim things now. Usually, that's where I find a bunch of my value. It's up on Death Mountain, but we got nothing. Nothing really. Oh, Samaria on Lake Hylia Island. It's good to know that that's where it's at. And we'll pick, we'll pick it up on our, at our earliest convenience. We won't really need it until... Until Meyer and or T-Rock. But it's not a bad item to have. What about ye old hobo? Ten arrows! Worse than socks on Christmas. Okay, well, we've got the money, we've got the gear, let's do the Zora play. Four items at our disposal. All of which are within logic, since we have the flippers. Big ol' 20. Hey, a fire rod. Well, look at that shit. That's real good. That is real good there. So, that makes... Uh... That makes Skull Woods a viable play. Piece of candy on the ledge there. Is 
it worth swimming all of this way? It was not. 500 for 20, an even worse investment than the bottle vendor. But we had so much money, it doesn't even matter. You know what? I'm actually going to ask him to go out to Sanctuary. We can take care of that north side. Three items. Real quick, like. our quake so there's our access to T-Rock and we know where Samaria is so Ugh, it's pointing us to T-Rock early in the seed I do not like it do not like it one bit rocks for us today. Enough of an arrow cap. Mm, makes me think. Let's drop off our fetch quest. Not one stabby stab weapon yet. Making me very nervous that we don't have at least one of those. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, now what? <laughs> I guess we go back to Dark World. We kind of make the Skull Woods play and then check out the rest of Dark World. We've still got Eastern kind of hanging out on the map for us, but I'd really like to get the bow before we go there. Because if we get the bow, we should be able to do the whole pod eastern back-to-back -back double play that I'm very much a fan of doing. So no world tour for the frog. <laughs> since we'll be dropping them off almost immediately. Oh, we can't do that because we don't have a sword. Oh, that's silly. What a silly thing. This will be a sword. No, but it will be the red mail. Okay. <coughs> Defense is good. Defense is good. was sank heart too. Nice. So we're gonna grab Cave South of Grove on our way to open up Gary's lunchbox here. So finding something. Ah, the cave. Okay. Let's see, what did I say before when we check Bumper Cave? By the time we get the cape, we won't care about that three hundo. I was right. I was very right. However, that does open up Spike Cave for us now. 
Bomb cap for that. I think while we're kind of on the south side here, let's go grab Samaria. Surprisingly enough, given our loadout, it still says we can't get into T-Rock. I wonder why that is. I'm actually kind of curious why that is. We've got Samaria, we've got Titan's Mitts, we've got Quake that gets us in. We've got Fire Rod. Very curious as to why it thinks I can't get into T Rock. So this is going to be a very awkward Mothula fight. We do have Fire Rod, which is nice, and we do have a, a green potion, which is even nicer. Big old five there. Huh. So I'm not really worried too much about it. I'm just really curious if, if that's going to be enough. Because we'll probably have about maybe between a half and three quarter magic by the time we get up to Mothula. And then we'll have another free, uh, well, not free, but we'll have another magic refill. Well, there's the other item, just a big old 20. Well, the good news is we won't have to worry about finding another item. The bad news is that doesn't really help us with our fight. Ah, oh, you bastard. Pop me right into it. We don't have a lot of health to begin with, so we're gonna have to be a little careful. Looks like we're <clears throat> we're hitting an hour in and still no sword. Makes me wonder just where all the pointy things are. Grab all of the magic I possibly can here. Uh, I think, let's see, which one was it? I think Ether will kill the, the Gibdos, right? Oh, I don't have a sword! I can't cast it! Oh, that's why I can't get into T-Rock. That's why, because I can't use the thing to open the door. All right, okay. Fuck, I, oh, I forgot about that, 100%. Oh, and I can't do this either because I don't have a sword. 
Oh shit, I forgot about that part. All right, we're not doing, <laughs> we're not finishing Skull Woods, I guess. Well, hell, that doesn't leave us a whole lot of options. Or no, maybe I wanna, eh, fuck it, too late. That leaves us, uh, the last item in Thieves Town, that leaves us getting into, oh, uh, ice, I guess we could go dip into ice, we could dip into swamp, we could go for spike cave. Ugh. Why I'm going for spike cave. Does old man refill my magic too, or is it just hearts? Just hearts. Well, that should be enough. Well, shit. We are kind of up a creek here. Hmm. So not having a sword leaves us out of a couple different things. Hmm. So probably the best play at this point will be going to Swamp. The simple fact that multiple items without requiring a sword. Uh oh, uh, we might not have enough for this. Fuck, we are just that little tiny bit close. Oh, no. Do I have a fairy? I don't have a fairy. Well, that was a gosh dang waste of time. Fuck. No. Just got cave north of graveyard. If I hadn't flubbed, like, the opening section of it, we would have just barely gotten through. I wonder if a bee... Can hit blind. Because if so, I think we're okay. We're good to go here. But if not, we'll be up a creek again. Of course, the smart play here would probably be go to go into Eastern, since I've been leaving, leaving that for when we have the bow. And there's a strong possibility that the bow is in Eastern anyways. damage on our way in. Because fireballs will still do a full heart even with red mail, but at least getting bopped only take a half. Get any more hearts out of these fuckers. There we go. Try the, try the B. Get him, boy. I don't know if he'll go for it. Get him. No, nope, doesn't do it. <laughs> Damn. All right, so now we've got to be careful. Oh, oh at least it's kind of keeping him busy, sort of. Shit. All right, you know what? I'm actually gonna do it this way. Because I think I can use the fire rod as well. Shit. No, no? Are you serious? No? Alright, fire rods. Oh, the Kena Samaria. Right. I can do that. Fuck. No! God damn it. Ah, shit. Because that hammer is just the worst fucking attack weapon. You're dealing with shit that's moving around like that. Alright, I forgot I had Samaria. That's right. I've been using that from the start. Is that fucking... Oh, yeah, of course, that dragon head dickbag is under there. Bastard. Hmm. 
All right, we'll use the hammer on the first wave because it's easy-ish. Why didn't that hit him? Fucker. There you go. Oh, uh oh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So tight. <laughs> Oof. Oh, for Bombos. Nice. Okay, well, that wasn't worth it, but whatever. I guess that does maybe get us in the mire. <laughs> sort of, but not really, and that's Crystal 3, so whatever. Oh wait, no, I can't get into Mire because I don't have a sword to cast it with. Fuck me. <laughs> wow, not having a sword really blows. Oh, excuse me, sir. Man, this is interesting. This is this is forcing me to do things I would normally not even want to even think about do. About doing here. Fighting bosses without swords and shit. Container. I guess that's useful, but not as useful as, say, a fucking sword. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over for Eastern, I think. We're going to go over to Eastern, get the three or two or whatever items are over there. We're going to set it up so that we can warp. Just in case we are actually able to get a sword or or to get the bow in Eastern. We're gonna set it up so that we can warp quickly back to Dark Palace of Darkness. Then we can do the double play in kind of reverse order. Oops, I don't know if I wanted to go in here right away, but I guess we can. The very first thing and bug out if it's nothing of value. If it's not a key, then it has very little to us, uh, very little value to us, really. That's a key. I'm actually gonna not even bother with it for now. So here we get to find what we could have found an hour ago if I had chosen to come here an hour ago. very first plays I make, but for whatever reason tonight, I decided not to do it. So far, deciding not to do it has paid off. <laughs> because all we got was a fucking piece of candy there.
burrito. I think we got the big key in the first chest, right? So we should be primed to get this here. But if we don't get the bow very, very soon, we will be not very happy. Oh good, the compass, which means Armos will have the last item. Excellent. Awesome. Perfect. The best. chance here. This is guaranteed to be the second item, however. It's not guaranteed to be anything of value. Eh? It is not! Oh my goodness. Wow. What a terrible, terrible Eastern. So we very well could have just left that forever <laughs> and not have worried about anything. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. So I guess while we're here, let's dip a little bit further into pod and see what we can see. Not that I expect to find a whole heck of a lot, but been wrong before. Probably a small key. Oh my goodness, it's the bow. All right, well. That suddenly makes uh, Eastern completable, and it makes uh, Pod completable. So let's keep going. Let's keep going with it. Yeah, I know, right? A buck, a buck twelve, a buck thirteen in, and no stabby stabs. That's right. We have been having to make do without it, and it hasn't been going too terrible. Let's be honest, but I really want a sword. <laughs> It keeps us from doing so much. And it also makes boss fights and shit way harder than they need to be. But hey, at least we've got the bow now, and at least we've got silvers, so whatever, man. Can't really compare or complain too much about that. This will be a key. And this one over here will probably be a key. Yep, 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 yep. Which means most of the other ones will be items. Yeah, that's that's kind of a silly place to put the bow there and that that chest down there. Oops. Uh Oh, just barely. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Somehow made it across. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to leave that one. Because I think we can get away without checking that center chest. I think. Ah, that one's sore. Don't have the big key yet, so we'll leave that one. Another small key. Oop. There's another small key. Alright, well. <laughs> and there's the big key. Okay, well, it's something. It's something. No swords, no hookshot. Been a very slim seed for like utility value here. It's candy. Ooh. Ever existed. I suppose that I possess no sense. 
Busy bams there. All right, it's looking awful slim here. Looking awful slim. Two items left, so we've got kind of a gamble to make here. We've got two chests that we can get to. Two of which, well, we've got three chests. Two of which that we need to burn a key to get to. One of which is just kind of hanging out. And we've got two keys, so. I mean, let's see what we can see. If this is a small key, we'll have to go for the center chest. But it's not, it's the hook shot. Holy shit. Pod with the value. So let's see, where does that put us? There's the burrito. And there's another item. Let's uh, let's kind of play the odds here. By which I mean, make a dumb choice. Oop, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Come on. So hookshot's nice. That gets us into every other place. That gets us through the entirety of swamp, which is not great because swamp's abundant. Um, but it is very, 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 very useful. So whatever. It's fine. So we're gonna go kill King Elmsor. Elmsor King, whatever. We're gonna hope for the best. Hope that he's hanging on to uh, the last item. Because if not, we can just pop back in and grab it. But having Hookshot also gives us the three items in Hookshot Cave up top. Dark side east of Death Mountain. There's another three it unlocks immediately without having to go do any other bullshit. So we're gonna kind of bank on those being good. And, and without a sword to cast the magics, we don't have to worry about going into T-Rock. which I am okay with doing, considering it is a gosh dang pendant. However, however, there are also a couple pendant dungeons that we can full clear, which I'm not looking forward to full clearing, if we can avoid it. Spent the last three hours trying to flash a new ROM onto your old, onto your old man's ancient Android tablet. Can we do this with, oh we can, without a sword, all right. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Which uh, ROM did you end up picking? <laughs> Which one is available to whatever whatever hardware he happens to have? Eh? Oh, we gambled and won that time. There's the last item. It's a full-on heart container, it's also crystal number four for us. Okay, so here's our play. Without a sword. Without a sword. We are limited as to where we can go. However, ice and swamp are both open, and they're both pendants. And between them is nine items. So that would seem, if we were playing the numbers, that would seem to be the play, to go check out those places. However, we also have four items open to us now on top of Death Mountain. The top three in Hookshot Chest, and the one in Spike Cave. Both very accessible given our health, our magic, and our equipment. So, I think we'll go hit those first before we try to do any of the other dungeons. Because there's a chance, a small one, but a chance nonetheless, that the four items available to us on Death Mountain, five if you include the one in here in Eastern, will give us everything that we need. And at this point, everything that we need is really just swords. Just swords. At least two, hopefully three, From uh, last official 421 to 44. Holy shit. That is very old. Very, very old. 
But hey, the tablet still works. Better to uh, kind of bring it up to as as close to snuff as it can get instead of buying a new one, right? No need to be wasted. five bosses we've done swordless. I don't know whether to be impressed or dismayed. Probably closer to dismayed. What do we get? Ah, it's blue goo. Alright, well that's all four bottles. And crystal number five. So, you know, whatever. Oi. Oi, this has been one hell of a seed. Tell you what. I got this far without a sword. Well, we got hammer fairly early, so that gave us some at least offensive capability. Even if it's not the best offensive capability. I mean, it hits for tempered sword damage, which is pretty nice. But there are just some things that it can't do. Like cast magic. Quake Vambos in the ether, you can't cast without a sword. take to go up here. And you can't cut curtains or vines or anything like that, so you're you're squeezed out of doing the Skull Woods boss. Which I remembered too late. So we cleared out Skull Woods, got to the area where we needed to cut some shit, and figured out we can't do that without a sword. So that was fun. Uh, and without being able to cast the medallion magic shit, we can't get into Fire or T-Rock. Which doesn't matter for T-Rock since it's a pendant. I don't care. Um, but it does matter for Meyer since that is a crystal. And we do care. So really, the only way we're not in go mode is by lacking a sword. And since this is not swordless mode, we will need at least Master Sword to begin. At least. Now there's the bug man. That's not a sword. There's 300 groups. That is also not a sword. And there is a sword. <laughs> About fucking time. What are we at? A buck 24 in for our first sword. Well then. And not just a good, and not, it's not even a good sword. It's the fucking plastic poker. Gosh dang it. Well, so here's hoping we can find a sword while we're going through the other, uh, or another sword while we're going through the other two crystal dungeons. So I really don't feel like going into swamp or ice or T-Rock. I really don't. I really, 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 really don't. We'll see. Like, I almost got to this before, but I died on the very last spike. Is this another sword? No, it's just 300. 300 rupees. Okay, I don't feel bad about missing that now. Oh, except now we're going to be playing the odds a little bit. Go buy some magic, I think. Oops, can't can't uh, can't call the goose while you're indoors. Whoopsie doopsie. We're gonna go get some magic potions because I'm gonna go, go go fight Mothula. And I don't relish fighting Mothula. Uh, with uh, as little magic as I have in the fire rod. So we're gonna have a couple refills. Just in case. So now, technically, we are in go mode. And also, technically, we are not. Because we need at least Master Sword for Ganon. 
and we do not have Master Sword. We have the, this the teeny little plastic piece of shit. But hey, at least it's something. At least we can get uh, all the rest of the crystals. That's something. That's progress. That is that is a a progressive thing that we can do. This plant ass thing. Get the last two crystals, we'll be able to get into G Tower. And it's entirely possible that G Tower has the other three swords, too. So, I guess if we're playing the odds, the odds are in our favor if we consider the 22 items. Get out of my way, please. The 22 items in G Tower. We are playing the odds, but hey, it's something. Oh, well, that was silly. This time we can actually cast this magic. Eat shit, Gibdos and Wallmaster. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now unfortunately we won't have all too much magic, so we're gonna play this a little bit cool. By which I mean we'll be playing a hot fire run. <laughs> Runs invalidate if I don't have the butter sword. That's not true! That's not true. There's only two things we need for the run to be valid. One is the Arrow of Destiny, which we picked up. And then two is opening validation chests. Alright, so I think we get maybe two two swings of the fire rod with this. So, let's see what we got. Oh, we don't even get that. Alright, well, whatever. So we're in good positioning for this. <laughs> I don't know if that counted. Oh, don't know if that counted either. Don't know if that counted. I mean, it flashed, but there we go. Okay, so uh, we did it. We did it for the compass and crystal number six here. Not our best showing. <laughs> but it's something. Okay, that also means we can go down to Meyer and get whatever two items are in there, hopefully one of which is a sword. And then be on our way to G Tower. The good part about this is we have silvers, so the vitreous fight will be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I'm not even sure what the fuck a lemon squeezy is. When I picture a lemon squeezy, I picture one of those uh, little plastic lemon things that they put imitation lemon juice in. That's what I think of when I hear lemon squeezy. Uh, which one is Bombos, I think, right? So, assuming that we don't go into any of the Pendant Dungeons this week, we're leaving 5, 8, 14 items on the table there. It's only about two-thirds of what we will be running into in G-Tower. So, playing the odds, we've got a better chance of finding a sword in G-Tower than anywhere else. So, I would be greatly surprised if we still manage to pull a sub 2 out of this, considering the runaround we've had. Hitting a sword at what, a buck 23? 
buck twenty two somewhere around there. I'd be greatly surprised if we pulled a sub two out of this. But I've been surprised before. And I wouldn't mind being surprised now. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of safety here. I'm gonna grab this ferry. Well, I'm gonna try to grab this ferry. Stop bouncing around. Ah, fuck. Try to get it in a bottle. It's the combat. Candy, all right, well, there's one item. <laughs> one of two. Oh, well, I ate that one too, I think. <laughs> Oops. If we were in go mode, I would say fuck it and just go now, but still looking for a better, sharper, pointier thing. Ouch. I think we got one more chance to ferry here, so we're gonna go for it. Just in case, I know we've got a lot of health, we've got a lot of other defensive items. So, that very might not be strictly necessary. But, good to have it regardless. Alright, well I think Vitreus is going to have the last item, so that's fine. We were gonna kill it anyways, so whatever. This the, this remix of Song of Storms is pretty fucking spicy. I love it. It is in fact the best. Vitreus meets silver arrows. Silver arrows, Vitreus. Oh, I actually almost died there because I took a bot from an eyeball. Oh! Well, it's a good thing I grabbed that fairy, isn't it? <laughs> it 
it's a real good thing I grabbed that fairy. See? Past me was a little bit of a genius. Oh boy. Alright, well... I think we're still gonna play the odds and go straight to G-Tower. Because 22 versus... What did I say before? 14, I guess 15, 16, 17, because of the double chested fairy and mimic cave. But still, 22 versus 17. We're gonna take the 22. Get out of the way, you asshole. Our swipes, come on. Place our safety since you never know when you're gonna need it, you know? Just like before. Fucking squirrel, really? What a shithead. Alright, I'm also gonna do this just in case we do need to go back out and find a sword. We'll open this up. Alright, so I guess this still applies though. 1 through 22. Where's that hot ass big key gonna be for G Tower? And will I be excited when I find it or not? <laughs> number one. Oh man, it would actually be the worst if it was number one this time. Because we want to be able to see as many items as we can in the hopes of finding a sword. I will go so far as to say finding just the Master Sword would be okay. It would be enough. Um, but I, I wouldn't say no to finding Tempered Sword at least. What with not having to deal with spin strats, but hey. I'll take whatever we can get here. So here's one. Small ass key. Here's two. Ten arrows. You know what? We're gonna do full right side first. Because we got screwed over last time by not doing full right side. Uh, I do have one more empty thingy ding. Well, actually, I've got two more empty thingy dings, I think, right? I think. Let's check. Yep. Alright. Got one more. Visity bands. All right, well, it's not looking the greatest here. Um, please light that up. Thank you. Close enough. Damn Gibdos. My face. Get out of my face, fucker. Eh. Alright, good. 
your magic there just a little bit. All right, what is this? This will be four through seven, right? Four, five, six. Uh, number six and number seven is the fire shield. All right, well, it's a good thing I went full right side. Um, but it didn't yield us a sword, fortunately. Wow, that's that's kind of dickish to put the, the big key on right side again. Thanks, RNG. But we're going to keep looking. we got to find ourselves a sword. There's a big old 20 there. Dang sword, please. Hmm. All right, we've got. Let's see. What what are, what count are we at here? I've, I lost count already. No, we don't need hearts. We need swords, please. We need the swords. got maybe five or six more items. Five or six more chances here. No! Stop giving me the money! Love and money will not make the world go round here. We need weaponry. Or no, we've got seven. No, eight. Eight more items. Eight more chances here. Four beyond this wall. One before we fall down, and three after our most refight. No. No, we don't need a shield. Or a burrito. Or a compass. Come on. Fuck off. Well, there's half of our chances. Just burned right away. Crap. <laughs> crap shit crap. This isn't looking great. Like, we definitely played the numbers. We definitely played the numbers here, but the numbers are gonna just fuck us over, aren't they? No! Oh, it was one of the single rupees! <laughs> Oh, uh oh, three chances left, and then we're gonna have to go hunting. Fucking perfect sniper shots there. Uh, no. No, last chance! Dang it! Oh, fuck! Ah, feck. Actually, I'm kind of curious, though. Now I'm curious. Can the sword be in the big chest? Like, I am real curious about this. How do we even get to the big chest? No, never mind. It's not worth it. <laughs> not worth trying to figure it out. Fuck. Where the hell are all these damn pokey things? I'm serious with this. Hmm. All right, well. Well, at least we'll go kill Jerk Wizard the second and be done with it. 
But then we gotta go on a little bit of a world tour and find ourselves another pokey weapon. At least one more. found a sword in there, we probably still could have turned this into a sub two, but now I'm not so confident. Now I am not so confident in this. Stop fucking moving around! Eat shit, asshole. I do have one more thing, so we may as well. A little bit of backup for our backup for our backup. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. Massive fireball ruining my day again. Have enough magic for both cool guy strats here. Let's see. Fucking really? Sword tap me out of that. Well, at least get two of them. Oh, wait, are we? Gonna have the magic for this? Oh no. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to burn our blue potion. Eh, whatever, I guess. I'm hoping to have just enough to get to the refill, but too late for that. Oh, that's right, I forgot. We still got a couple more chances here. Ah, dang it. No, still nothing. Oh, oh, but there's always validation chests. There's validation chests. Oh, man. If we get a sword there, I'm going to be so super happy. How did we manage to get that? Pigments. So there's validation chests, and I guess there's this one, too, huh? Ah, the shovel! Fuck you, shovel! Oh, dang it. All right, we're gonna do hammer strats. Formula on the second here. Man, if validation chest does it for us, I'd be very, very happy. I'll be, oops, I missed. Over here, you piece of shit. Come over here, you piece of shit. Hey, oi. There we go. If it pulls through for us, that would be real nice. That would be real, real nice. Come on, Validation Chest, I believe in you. Damn it! <laughs> At least our run is valid now, though. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the hilarious seed. My goodness. You know, just for good measure, then, since this seed has been all sorts of fucky, Let's 
try to get some get some good reflex with this. There we go. We got the one. <laughs> we got the one off of not him. Ah, fuck. Do some swag reflex with the bug net. Ah, all right. Fuck it. Ooh, nice. Good double. Oh, wow. Good angle on that. Oh, nice. We got him. <laughs> Come get some. Stupid ass jerk wizard. All right. Well, he's dead. But we still have to find a sword. <laughs> All right, well, oh shit, that's right, it pop pops me back down here. Here I thought I was being all smart and cool by, uh, by opening up T-Rock so we could go right in there, but I guess it's probably better this way. We can do double-chested berry and then start going into dungeons. Excuse me, everybody, I need to find a sword. Excuse me. Yeah, I wasn't a terrible jerk wizard, but... Meh. Was it like a four cycle? I think it was more than a four cycle. It's been a five cycle. Not the greatest. Oops. So now we've really got our pick of pendant dungeons <laughs> to go into and find our sword. It would be real convenient to find two swords of double chested fairy, I tell you what. That'd be real nice. It'd be real, real nice. But, I mean, this is a numbers play again, right? We took the numbers play of 22 versus 17 and we got burned. So, fuck numbers. Well, it was more than 22, actually. It was, like, closer to 25 because of those extra ones, right? No. No! No! Oh, no. All right, I think we're going to go in the swamp, then. Six items, not terribly slow to check. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, oh, why couldn't it have been vanilla and given me a sword there? Bunch of bullshit. Alright, so let's hit Swamp. Six items. This is the best numbers play that we've got again, so whatever. If we get it early enough, we might still pull a sub two out of this. But it's looking kind of bleak. Looking kind of bleak right now. So I think at this point, if I find one sword, that's going to be enough for me. I'm going to say nuts to everything else. Oh my god, these guys take two hits with a plastic sword. That sucks. Because then, I mean, it'll mean I have to do spin strats Ganon. Which sucks. Which sucks. Let's, let's not make any bones about that. But I really don't want to be digging for anything else. So, whatever. So if first chest in Swamp wants to give me another sword... Hey, Opa! We out. We out and ready to go. Okay, I think if I S and Q here, it'll take me back to the top of the pyramid. I'm thinking. No, really? Um, well, that sucks. 
All right, so we're gonna waste a bit of time getting back to Dark World. Oh wait, I was already here. What am I doing? <laughs> I know. I'll flew to my house. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, such a silly thing. All right. Well, considering we've got to do spin strats, Ganon, I'm guessing sub two is probably out of the question. Just getting a three-minute spin strat would be unusual. Let's put it that way. It'd be unusual for me. I think I've only had to do spin strats twice before, and I'm not great at it. But we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna be a smart guy and grab this fairy. There we go. Nom 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 nom. Oh, well, hey, full ma- eh, full magic, that's good. That was a- ooh, that was a very good drop. So I would've went in with very little magic and very little hope of actually doing something. Yeah, burrito, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, thanks. Talking about burritos and shit when we've got to save the world. Fuck you, Ganon. Ouch. Eh. Fucking... I have no idea how many spins this is gonna take. I know there's a there's a count, but I don't know what the count is. That might get us to phase two at least. All right, we're gonna have to bug out a little bit. This is gonna be a very interesting and slow fight. <laughs> Burning a backup fairy here. Oh, all right, we're at, we're we're in. Whoa, careful. Okay, we're through the most difficult part, which makes me happy. All right, that was a that was a very ah I fucked it up. So I would I would at least like to get torch glitch. Thank you. Oh, all right, this. Ah, dang, I thought we could double it to finish. But uh, pretty straightforward fight. Ah, oh, you bastard, really? Might have still been able to do, a, like, a flat two there if we had gotten that shot. There we go. Yeah, dang it. Ah! <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Just slightly, just like a little, a little feather touch over average, too. Well, considering the shitstorm that conspired against me for that seed, having a like a nearly flat two isn't bad. My goodness. Ugh. Plus, we had a deathless uh, sword strats or spin strats, Ganon. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh, prepare to fast forward. All right. Schizocarp. 
I wonder how many different names they have for him in the rando. It's different every time. Oh boy, that was uh That was okay. That wasn't wasn't great. It was just okay. So we're gonna do what we did last week. Uh, instead of playing like a full normal seed for the second one, we're gonna do a Triforce hunt. Since those by and large tend to be much shorter than this. Although I've had one go for 50 minutes, I've also had one go for a buck and a half, so... Why MMV, I suppose. RNG can always strike in the worst places. But we'll see how it goes tonight. Hmm, so considering that, what did we what did we end up on average now? We're up to two a flat with eight seconds change on that, so we're just gonna make sure we got that saved for next time. Then we'll we'll take a quickie peek at the stats. I think we did five bosses without the sword, which is kinda crazy for me. I mean I'm certainly no swordless run player here, but we did what we could with what we had. That certainly ballooned up my average for the last split there. The Ganon fight. That was what? Four minutes? Four and a half? Five minutes, maybe? Wasn't the greatest, but we had to do spin strats, so whatever. important stuff. What do we got? See, four sword, buck 23. That's really dumb. Pretty early flute, though. That was nice. Look at that. Five out of 13 with no sword. And threw the other three with a fucking plastic poker, and then it's the master sword for Ganon's Tower. Ah, uh, what a what a seed to waste a, a six-item G-Tower big key on. Fuck me. Overall, not a bad collection rate, considering. <laughs> 